So, we are on the road. Yeah, we've begun our journey to discover the solutions to homelessness. So your answer is to put these people in temporary spaces, right? That's not a solution. Society thinks shelters are a solution, but the shelters don't think they're the solution. And the people who stay in them actually think that they're the problem. We're just pouring money into the emergency response, $50,000 per person, and they've got nothing. Housing not only is the most effective solution to homelessness, it is the most cost-effective solution to homelessness. Housing first, the model is housing and services. No, it's not. I promise you it is. No, it's not. The support services are what make the model successful. I wouldn't be alive if it weren't housing first. What is the dysfunction? It's just a lack of partnerships, lack of collaboration. Everybody can point the finger at one another and nobody takes full responsibility. You have to have everybody buy in. You can't just look at people who are on the streets right now. You also have to stop the inflow. It costs about half to build a building like this. It's no mistake that almost everybody in our system is black experiencing homelessness. This is actually the systems that founded this country working exactly as they were intended to do, to prioritize wealth and safety and resources for white people while deprioritizing those things for people of color. Racism ultimately causes homelessness. There are homeless advocates who are challenging the system. Housing is a human right! There are progressive policy makers challenging the system. I remember what it was like to be cold in that car and to wonder if my kids were going to die in the middle of the night. And then there's the status quo that says, I ain't trying to see this shit go away. You get the public on board, we're gonna solve it. The power of film. Power of film. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm not out here no more, man. Gosh.